Hello and welcome back to the Midnight Chill. This week we're just going straight into it guys. So sit back, relax and enjoy the Midnight Chill. Ow. From one grunt to another. Dear Father, I don't know how long it's been since I last wrote to you. The days are just seemingly blending together. There are these things now that spew some sort of dust up into the air, blacking out the sky. It becomes so dark that it's almost impossible to see. If it wasn't for those night vision implants they gave us, we'd be fire and blind and would easily be overrun. Thank God for technology, eh? Luckily though, it's only one type of the species, and if we kill enough, the dust disperses and light begins to shine back through. The boys have named them blackouts. Original, I know. But what more would you expect from a grunt? I know I've told you about the different types before, but more and more are appearing every few days, and I know you wouldn't be happy unless you heard all about them. There was this big one. It must have stood 12 or 14 foot tall. It looked like a giant bear, only its arms almost touched the ground. It had no snout. It had no jaw at all, in fact. Just one big lump of skin that stretched from its mouth to its chest. It constantly roared at us, and boy could it roar. We had to get extra ear protection to prevent extreme headaches. Those ones rushed our front lines. There had to have been at least a hundred of them. They wiped out everyone on their path, nearly 300 lives gone in a matter of minutes. That was until Og found a way to bring them down. There was a weak point on the inside of their knee. A stray bullet brought one down in front of him, and when it roared, he threw a frag into his mouth. There was nothing left of the creature from the waist up. He managed to get the word out on how to kill him before another one squashed him with his fist. I never mentioned how big their fists were, did I? Well, these are huge, like giant sledgehammers. The word was spread quickly, and our snipers made them bow down before us. Those that were close to them launched frags, and the rest were brought down by rocket launchers. The boys named them augers. I'm not sure if it was a memory of Og, or just that he managed to bring them down, but either way, the name is fitting. I've lost so many friends in this war already, even most of your old buddies are gone. New faces are filling the ranks daily, most of them fresh, probably not even using a laser blade yet. Other creatures have attacked us as well, none as devastating to our numbers though as the augers were. I swear, it's like they're just creating different types of creatures to see which one will be able to annihilate us, whoever or whatever they are. There was one before the augers. This thing was even bigger. We called it the skyscraper. I know you're going to be sitting laughing your ass off at these names out of pride. You always were a true grunt. The air support quickly eradicated them though. After that, and especially after the augers, they soon realized the smaller was the way to go. Waves of rodent-like creatures came at us. They were about the size of a large dog. Well, that's how I can best describe them anyway. I never got a shot at them, and Barney described them like that. You know what he's like, mouth first, thoughts later. I eventually got around to asking one of the grunts from the 17th, and he told me they looked like rats that had been supercharged with a dose of piranha. Weird, I know, but that's all I got. They have flying creatures now as well. Things with four wings, huge long legs and arms, and with talons the size of my hand. A few lads got caught with those claws and are either recovering or dead. One caught Yankee and sliced straight through his helmet, opened his head like a shredder apparently. They are nasty, but easy enough targets in the sky. There's a type we call the stalker. This one is a sneaky fucker. It's completely black and his skin is rocky like the terrain. It slowly makes its way towards us and then snatches someone whenever it seems fit. It could be right on top of you and you wouldn't even notice. Six or seven of the guys went missing before we even knew about it. Then one night a shift changed. Well, I think it was night anyway. Damn blackouts. The lads had gone on ahead of me. The alertness supplements had finally taken their toll and I was near impossible to wake. But I managed to get up and was following them down the trench still half asleep. I think that's the reason why I managed to spot it. My rational mind wasn't yet awake. I saw it move slightly. It was stalking toner. I raised my gun and the guys looked at me as if I'd lost my mind. Then it sprung, 
faster than I imagined it would. The bullets missed it completely as his claws dug deep into Toner's shoulders. I continued to fire and when he screamed they all thought I shot him and took up arms against me. Luckily I managed to hit it the second time I fired. There was a hiss of pain and the guy spun around. They were momentarily shocked by what they saw and then they joined me in killing it before it could manage to escape. It was like a huge lizard and again it had huge long limbs, six of them. That's what probably made it so perfect for sneaking across the ground. Apparently the claws on the front limbs are retractable, allowing them to dig deeper for a stronger hold when snatching one of us. God knows how many they could have killed if we hadn't seen it. Toner's death was enough. I'm going to tell you about one more and then you can wait for the next letter. This one seems to be an improved version of the sentinel that took your leg. It has the same mantis type limbs and four claws. Only these are longer and there seem to be some sort of armor scaling plated over them. Not so easy to bring down anymore. Their beast like torso is now covered in the same coating. It still has the same ugly bat like head though and their needle teeth now look like small knives. It's even weirder looking now. We're holding our own against them so don't worry. Whatever they throw at us will hit back harder. You know that. You've done that. Give mom my love. Tell Jess I miss her and I can't wait to get home. And tell little Joyce that daddy can't wait to play ball with him again. I'll write again soon. Probably with new creatures to tell you about. Hopefully with news about us forcing them back. Or maybe even putting an end to all this bloodshed. Until then, take care. Jay. That's it guys, thanks for listening. Don't forget to leave a comment, let me know what you thought. Also, if you want to hear anything in the future, just leave a comment, let me know what you'd like to hear. Don't forget my books, Love's Course and Strings are available to buy on Amazon. I'll put the links down below. I'll see you next week. Until then, AOI.